CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful revealed that Hope isn't sure which man she'll choose after Thomas leaves Los Angeles. Hope was heartbroken when Thomas left, but it wasn't long before she forgot him. Hope attended Sheila's memorial service. She sympathized with Finn, so she wanted to come here to comfort him. Seems like things are going great between Hope and Finn, and there's some conflict going on between Steffi and Finn because Finn insists on going to Sheila's memorial service. Hope is hating Steffi because she advised Thomas to leave Los Angeles. Does Hope want to take this opportunity to seduce Finn to get revenge on Steffi? Additionally, Hope, Liam, and Beth have been hanging out together recently. They looked very happy and like a real family. Don't rule out the possibility that Hope will return to Liam. This is the best way to prevent Beth from being hurt. Meanwhile, Thomas and Douglas are in France. However, Thomas cannot stop remembering Hope. Thomas was disappointed when Hope rejected him. He thought he could let go of his feelings for Hope. After many times, she disappointed him. When Steffi advised Thomas to go to Paris, he did not hesitate and left with Douglas. However, Thomas was unable to concentrate on anything. He makes a shocking decision, which is that he will return to Los Angeles and pursue Hope again. He saw that Hope clearly had feelings for him, but maybe she just wasn't ready for marriage yet. Thomas may be a little more persistent and Hope can trust him more. Then she will feel definitely secure in accepting his marriage proposal. Elsewhere, Dante may be trying to save the situation. In the moment of taking Sheila to the crematorium, Deacon saw a full ten-toed foot, and I'm sure that body isn't Sheila's. Everything happened so fast that Deacon didn't have time to do anything to save the evidence. Now Deacon's trying to explain to Carl Ferret, who works at the crematorium, to see if he can help Deacon find evidence. Deacon says there was a mistake here. The body they took away earlier was not Sheila's at all. It seemed like Carl Ferret didn't believe Deacon's words because Deacon was so upset about Sheila's death and wanted her to come back to life. It was possible that Deacon had hallucinations. Deacon was unable to discern what should happen. Carl Ferret wants Deacon to calm down and think carefully about whether this is correct or not. <laughs>